Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for all things innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Adrian Saru on the line, and he's CEO and founder over at Baloo. Adrian, welcome to the show. Hi, Adam. Thank you for having me. All right. So uh, I, I'm excited to get into today's topic. So I know that you're in the middle of a pivot with Baloo, and uh, we're going to get into that, and I want to talk a little bit more about how you're pivoting and what you're doing. Um, but before we do that, I want to get a little bit more into um, what you've done so far with Baloo. Let's t- tell me a little bit more about the company and where you're at, please. Yes, thank you, Adam. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of background and that kind of uh, relates to, to what I'm doing now. Um, prior to starting Baloo, um, I was working for a health tech company and I was in charge of um, event marketing for them. Um, so the bulk of my work was really, um, you know, take care of all the logistics, um, you know, all the marketing, anything that is involved for um, a presence, uh, a trade show presence or conference tra- uh, presence for the company. Um, so I've I think I calculated in, in five years, I did about 80 uh, conferences and trade shows. So it wow. really gave me a yeah. lot. So <laughs> a lot, definitely a lot. Um, and, um, you know, it really gave me a good idea of, you know, uh, what exhibitors are doing, uh, what organizers are doing as well. And um, what happened on one of my last shows uh, before uh, launching Baloo I was attending a, a big conference in, uh, in Florida, in Orlando, and um, on one of my breaks, I uh, decided to kind of walk around and, and um, you know, visit the show floor and see what other exhibitors and companies were doing, and I noticed kind of in the back of the, the show floor, tucked away, um, a small company, a small booth, and with a beautiful motorcycle in front of it. And I said, wow, this is pretty cool. I wonder if they're, you know, raffling this bike away. So I went up to them and I asked, you know, so what's the deal with this bike? And sure enough, um, they were uh, doing a, a giveaway. Um, and what you had to do is enter on a piece of paper your name and your information, put it in the box, and at the end of the trade show, they pick a winner. And I noticed the box was fairly empty. And um, so I asked them, I said, so, you know, what, what's the what's the story here? Why aren't you getting many entries. And um, to my surprise, they said, well, we, um, you know, not many people know about us. Um, you know, we spend quite a bit of marketing budget on this bike. Um, and, uh, you know, we kind of have a bad location. Um, we didn't have the marketing budget to do some outreach. And uh, we're getting, um, you know, some low numbers, some low entries. So I thought, you know, this is absolutely crazy. These people have, you know, bought this beautiful motorcycle. They're trying to get as many leads as possible, and they're just not there. And, you know, th- I thought, you know, there must be a way to bridge the awareness gap uh, between the exhibitor and the attendees. And uh, shortly after the show, I just said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch a company. I'm going to help these exhibitors. So I decided to quit my marketing job, and, and I launched Baloo. Um, so what Baloo is doing is, um, actually bridging this, this gap, uh, we've launched a, a mobile platform. So it's an app that's downloaded by attendees. And uh, we display on the app all the exhibitor giveaways. So anything from, of course, you know, the, the small swag, you know, the pens, the bags, up into, you know, all the way up to the, to the bigger items. So, you know, we've raffled, um, I mean, we've showcased uh, – cars and, you know, uh, big trips and cruises and uh, bikes, actually. And, um, and yeah, so the, the attendees see it, you know, and hopefully that, that gets them excited. And then that pushes them to go visit the exhibitor. And once they're at the booth, then it's up to the exhibitors to do their, you know, uh, sales, you know, pitch and, and trying to get, you know, some leads or some potential clients. Um, now, uh, what we've decided to do is uh, work directly with the organizers. So we understand mm-hmm. that there's tremendous value in 
working directly with them because they know their audience, they know their attendees, they know their exhibitors. And then on a marketing perspective, it's kind of, you know, that was a challenge for us to get, you know, to the right attendees. Um, and so we have a business model that's very uh, non-traditional where uh, we partner with an organizer. If they help us do the outreach, you know, do those marketing campaigns for us, we give them, um, we do a rep share with them. So they get a percentage of our sales. And the, the sales is made from the exhibitor directly. So the exhibitors are paying a small fee to be part of this platform. And, um, and then, you know, we collect that, that payment and then we share, you know, we give a portion back to the organizer. So it's really a great financial incentive for them, uh, to be involved and to, to adopt our, our solution. Um, and so we've launched in, uh, May of 2018. Uh, we've done quite a few shows. Uh, we, we started in the, in the health and fitness. Um, I don't know, Adam, if you've ever been to a, a fitness show, but attendees go crazy Fit Expo, over. Are you kidding me? Fit Expo, it's the biggest. In there the you way. go. So are you, I'm yeah. all over Fit Expo. I love it. I, I might be doing the media for them and doing a, and having a live podcast experience on the, uh, once this all oh, whole pandemic thing's over and all that stuff. No, love those guys. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, so we did our first show with Fit Expo. Uh, so Fit Expo San Diego, because we're based in San Diego, we did our kind of our our pilot, we tested the ground, we, you know, got some really good feedback, and then we did our big launch at LA Fit Expo in uh, 2019, January 2019. And uh, since then, you know, it's done really well. We've, we've kind of opened up to other uh, industries, you know, so we've done outdoor, uh, we've done a hockey show. Um, so we're, we're really open, you know, the, the, there's a lot of potential and it's not only consumer shows, but also business to business shows. Um, there's a lot of, uh, cool stuff that are being done there. Um, that's awesome. And, and yeah, so our last show was in March. Um, we did a big hockey show in Wisconsin and right after the show, uh, we got hit with a pandemic. And I think that brings us uh, to today's topic. So get us, uh, so tell us a little bit more about how you're pivoting now that we don't have the luxury of going to these events at the moment. Hopefully it gets back going, but um, now at this, at this moment, how, how's that pivot working? Yeah, so that's a great question. And it's, it's been, a, you know, a big challenge for us because mm -hmm. we, we thought, okay, well, what, what are the different options here? Do we kind of, you know, pause Baloo and, and work on, you know, maybe improving the platform and, you know, and getting ready when everything opens up. Uh, but there's that big unknown, right? When are shows going to open up again? And are the shows um, going to kind of, you know, function differently? Are they going to go more towards virtual? Uh, virtual? And um, so we didn't want to sit around and we decided, you know, let's, let's figure out how we can uh, play a role and be, you know, uh, a solution for, for those uh, organizers. And um, so today, of course, you know, these organizers are pushing to go virtual. And, oh, yeah. um, and so, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a big challenge for everybody. But for us, we still think there's a big play. And where, you know, attending a virtual show, I don't know if you've done it, Adam, but it's not very appealing, right? So you're sitting at your desk you know, you're, or at your computer and you're, you're listening to all these talks, these sessions online. And, um, you know, it's not as exciting as, you know, talking face to face. And, um, so for us, the key thing was, you know, finding the right partners, not doing this alone. You know, we're, we're a community all together trying to figure out how to, you know, make things work. And, um, so, for us, it was very important to, to, you know, pinpoint those key partners that we can, we can work with and then offer our solution again as an incentive, but now we're going more on the, on the virtual side. So adapting our, our platform, which is already mobile and integrating with, uh, existing, uh, virtual platforms. So I can't, uh, name, uh, the company, but we are working right now with a big player in the event industry and in event technology and um, that are offering, they're offering a lot of virtual sessions and conferences and we're coming in as the, as the incentive, you know, kind of the, 
the carrot at the end of the stick um, where, you know, if these people engage, if they attend these virtual conferences, uh, they can be, uh, you know, they can receive, you know, giveaways and rewards. So, so we are that component uh, for, for that company. Man, I love it. It's such a great concept, and it makes perfect sense. And what I love about this is even if things go back to normal, it's still an amazing service. Like, it's almost like, and obviously we're in the middle of it, and and, and everybody listening, I, I'm not, I don't mean this in a good way, but it's almost like um, a silver lining for you. Like, if, when it, if everything goes back to normal and events are normal, then you still have the old thing that you were doing, but now you have yep. this amazing new vertical because one thing is for certain, and this is just a fact, there's a new market. Everybody's on Zoom and all these other things. Thing. So now, yep. now people will take um, on like video events and other things way more seriously than they did in the past yep. because for some people that had never done it, they were forced to do it and they prefer it. Now they like that better. Yep. They're like, I'm not going to park my car and do this and that. I just want to sit at home and want to go to the event. I don't want to deal with that. I, and so for some people, right. that's going to work. And some people, I think it just expanded the market. So I think some people are going to be both. They're going to actually just increase their consumption. Instead of watching maybe Netflix, some people are going to be like, they'd rather spend that hour at an event um, and yeah. the in person too because they would have rather yeah. did that in the first place. They just didn't have the option of doing that in the first place. So because that wasn't even an option, they went on Netflix just to kill some time. So I love that. Absolutely. I, I think it's, it's going to change the landscape for the better. That's just my maybe my optimistic plan. But for me personally, it's <laughs> changed it for the better because I'm like, I want to. I can't wait to go to the Fit Expo number one. But you know what? In L.A., um, but, I can, but I might not make it to the San Diego one or maybe I don't get my booth at the San Diego one. So maybe I want to watch that one on, on my computer, right? I don't know. Right. Um, so just yep. throwing that out there. Um, so, Adrian, that being said, um, exciting times for you. And, and I and congrats on all the things you're working on. If somebody's listening to this, and they want more information on Baloo, um, what's the best way for them to connect with uh, you and your team? Yeah, so they can go on our website at uh, baluapp.com. We have a Contact Us page for organizers or exhibitors. Um, we are uh, also all over social media, so at Baloo App on, uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on um, Instagram. And uh, yeah, feel free to contact us. We're we're ready to work and uh, and we're excited. So awesome. Well, Adrian, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about your background with Baloo and all the great things you're doing in this uh, in this pivot to help event organizers and to the audience as always. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the FY iTunes Store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Innovation, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the comment section. I mean, I'd love to know what kind of projects and things you're working on. And Adrian, thanks again for coming on the show.